Around 1481 to 1505 AD, there was a king in Benin Kingdom that, according to history, fought over 200 wars in most cases to protect the territorial boundaries of Benin Sate. That king was Oba Ozolwa, the younger son of the great Oba Ewai. Till today, the history is still very fresh in the minds of the inhabitants here. And that is the reason why we've decided to come to this community today to visit the exact spot where this uh, fight took place. And of course, it's going to be an interesting history that we're about to tell you. Several centuries ago, war broke out between an indigenous of Utekong community known as Ise and Obaozolwa. Before the fight, Ise was said to be a servant of Obaozolwa, who lived with him at the palace for several years. Ise's father hailed from Utekong and his mother was from Okung, both in the northeast local government area of Edo State. Upon the death of Ise's father, the mother was said to have moved with him to the palace of the Oba of Benin, where Ise served as a servant known as Omada to Oba Ozolwa. The decision of his mother moving to the palace to live with his son did not go down well with the people of Utekon, who became angry, prompted them to stop paying royalty to Oba Ozolwa. Oba Ozolwa, on the other hand, grew angry and kept boasting that he was going to wipe off Utekon community. And he said, expressed displeasure that the Oba was going to wage war against his paternal family and threatened Oba Ozolwa that he would stand to defend his people. It was at this point that Oba Ozolwa sent him away from the palace and parted him with a weapon as a gift. After a period of time, Oba Zolo and his warriors invaded the Utekon community and killed several people while Ise, who are threatened to defend his people, was in the farm far away from the community. On receiving the news of the war by Oba Zolo, Ise immediately made haste to rescue his people and discovered that the weapon gifted to him by Oba Zolo had been taken away from where it was kept, prompting him to place a curse on the person who took the weapon known in Benin language as Umozo. At the time, Ise eventually knew that it was his mother who took the weapon to wage war against the warriors of Oba Zolo. It was too late as he found out that his mother had died. The death of his mother angered Ise so much that he went all out to wrestle with Oba Zolwa, who had invaded the community. When the battle became very tough, the Oba climbed the tree, making it a safe haven for him. He said on becoming aware that Oba Zola climbed the colonel tree, attempted to cut down the tree, when an indigenous of Utekon, known as Oumoria, intervened and told the two to wrestle instead. Oumoria then posed as a referee that officiated in their physical combat that lasted throughout the night. Oumoria later took sides with the Oba that he said has lost the battle, claiming that there were sand particles at his back, signifying that his back already touched the earth, and so he had lost the battle. It was at this point that he said gave up the battle, and Oba Zolua beheaded him in the process and attempted to take his head back to Benin to report at the palace that he has won the battle against his say, only for his say, who had died, to magically turn into a lion, and the place has since become a shrine where the people of Utekong now worship. The new crew proceeded to the battleground, and it's now a forest. For some traditional reasons, we could not enter the forest, but one of the elders said he is the priest serving at the shrine. By that time, when he he caught uh, the head of uh, he said, you know, they say make he breathe the head of he said, you not see the head, you not see the head big old. the head turned to Tanga. Oh, Moria, I thought you were close to us. Now that you have decided to treat me like this, he will lie down to die because he cannot swallow his head promise. But as it is, you, O oh Moria, we equally die because of any the good you are doing now. Only the people from here, they can know how to serve that shrine. Commenting on the story, the Enogi of Obazua, His Royal Highness Edu Akenzua, said he said was an Omada at the palace of the Oba Benin who hid from Utekon village, saying Utekon became rebellious to the palace of the Oba Benin, which climaxed in war. He said the Oba did not give Ise a weapon as a parting gift as told in some quarters. And she is on the same path. And now she, she said, You are fine. She said, You said, You are right. 
where we were that far. If you need for you have some in your back. He said, no, confirm that you have some in your back. And in those days, these two people went to him. And one fell, one that fell, he remained on the ground and asked the other one to cut off his neck. Despite being in existence for centuries, Utekon still lacks basic amenities. Best Mbire reporting.